Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Banking Digits. My name is Soikat Maji. Today I'll discuss about EBRC self-generation process. I'll guide you step-by-step -step process on how to self-generate EBRCs as per new DGFT process. I'll also share the link of DGFT guideline in the description box so that you can read the circular. I'll request you to see the video in landscape mode so that all the fields appear to you in larger fonts for better understanding. First, you have to register and log in into the DGFT portal with your email ID and password. Link of the DGFT portal shared in the description box. After login, you will find the screen like this. Here, uh, if you move the mouse cursor in the services field, drop down list will appear like this here you need to uh, click on the ebrc field in my video ebrc field has been highlighted in red after clicking here next screen will appear like this here you need to click on the field irm warm repository if you don't have the irm number if you already have the irm number then you can directly click on the uh, field uh, generate EBRC. If you get, uh, you can get your IRM number from your banker or you may click on the field IRM warm repository. After clicking on this field, screen will appear like this. Here, first field is IEC, which will auto fetch here. After this, you need to mention bank name where inward was credited and uh, no need to mention anything under IRM number field. Next, you mention remittance from date and remittance to date. You can select any dates here. Next is IRM status field. No need to mention anything here. After this, click on the search button. Then uh, you will find all the IRM numbers during the period you have mentioned in these fields. Please note it down. Uh, the specific IRM number for which you want to create EBRC. Next, again move the cursor to services field and click on the EBRC tab. Next screen will appear like this. Here you need to click on the generate EBRC tab. After this screen will appear like this. Here you can see four draft applications which were saved earlier however all the steps were not completed if you have not saved any draft application nothing will uh, come here in this screen you need to click on the start fresh application column which is available in the bottom left corner after clicking you will find a screen like this here First, you need to select whether your underlying transaction is for goods, deemed export or services. Then, you need to paste the IRM number which uh, you noted down earlier and press the tab button in your keyboard. After this, all, uh, all these fields like uh, bank name, IRM, currency, remittance amount, etc. will auto-fetch except the field amount for EBRC. In this field, you need to enter the amount manually. Please note here, if, you, if the amount of IRM is more than the amount of shipping bill, then you uh, mention the IRM value only and click on the add IRM tab in the uh, bottom left corner. After that, you can add multiple IRM numbers likewise which you want to tag with the particular shipping bill. You need to add uh, multiple IRMs when payment received in tranches against single shipping bill. Now, if shipping bill value is lesser and IRM value is higher, uh, that higher then you need to mention the shipping bill value under the field amount for EBRC. Please note, you can also generate BRC for part amount if you have received part payment only against a shipping bill. So, after clicking on the Add IRM tab, screen will appear like this. If you have selected multiple IRMs, then multiple IRMs will be shown here. Here, you have to click on the Save and Next button, which is available in the bottom right corner. Uh, next now next screen will look like this 
here you have to mention ad code which is available in the shipping bill or mention new ad code if you have done the ad transfer then shipping bill number shipping bill date port code shipping bill currency shipping bill value invoice number etc after entering all the details you can click on the preview brc to check how the uh, generated brc will look then click on the save and next button after this declaration window will appear like this if you go to the bottom here you have to tick the box first then mention the place and click on the generate ebrc tab in the bottom right corner after this one e sign window will appear so there after doing the e signature your brc will be generated Thanks for watching the video. If you have any doubts, feel free to ask in the comments box below. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel for more insightful contents. Thank you.